So the question is, the, the person is saying there's a comeback in the pulpit in America of legalism. Um, and they're asking if I've seen the same kind of trend. And I think if there's a comeback in legalism, it's all about getting it right. So legalism's all about getting it right. I think in its worst forms, it's I'm doing this so that God will that. Um, and it makes me feel like I'm really in control. I'm the driver. It's my righteousness that forces God to treat me as a righteous person. Okay? I don't think we really see it that way. I think the way we see it is in getting it right no matter what it is. So I'm, I'm in the new reformed movement. I'm getting it right. I'm better than the other pastors or other churches that are not in the new reform movement. By the way, I'm not actually in that. I'm, I'm talking hypothetically. Uh, so it's like there's this pride that comes about. And when this pride comes about, you begin to look at other people and say, you should get it right like I've gotten it right. Um, and that's where legalism comes in. So anything a pastor begins to do or say that makes people feel like, um, boy, they have to get it right in order to be right. See, that's legalism. No, you have to get grace and, and connect with Jesus so that you can be right. Your righteousness is, is something that comes from your connection, your relationship, your obedience to Jesus. And so if, if we're saying do this so that you can be right without reference to grace or without reference to Christ or the work of the Holy Spirit in us, then we're setting up some kind of a legalistic standard. And I think that's the way we see it today is that pastors will get hobby horses or other things and people will begin to feel like I don't belong if. And so if someone comes to Antioch and feels it's legalistic, it would be because I'm accidentally doing that to them. I'm making them feel like they can't belong here as a sinner. They have to somehow get something right, do something right, and then they can belong here and then have access to grace. And it's like, no, it, it starts with grace. Um, so I think, I think we always have to be on guard for that. And I, I certainly think the way the question was asked is a wide generalization. I, I certainly think you could say there's that problem in the pulpit today in pockets in different places, but I'm, I'm leery that it can exist even in the person that thinks they're being grace-based and not legalistic. Um, I think we can all fall victim to that. Yeah, so hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps.